Next, we'll be looking at cranial nerves 9 and 10, the glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerves. In order to do this, we'll be looking at the uvula, the soft palate. We'll have Lindsay here perform a few different tests. So starting out, what I'd like you to do is just open your mouth. And I'm going to turn this on so there's some light. Okay. And now just say, ah. Uh. Uh. Okay, good. So what I'm looking for is symmetry, any deviation of the uvula or the soft palate. Okay. Next thing, um, I want you to just cough. <coughs> okay, good. Just one more time. <coughs> so let's say that there was actually a problem with the vagus nerve. Lindsay wouldn't be able to close her glottis and, and build up that pressure for that slightly explosive cough. It'd be more of just a, there'd be air coming through. So that'll help us kind of zero in on whether there's a vagus nerve lesion, and that's called a bovine cough. Uh, another thing that we want to do is we're going to listen to the quality of, of Lindsay's voice and whether she's able to articulate or not. So if there's dysphonia, that's more of a sound production. That's an actual problem with producing sound when speaking. Whereas if it was a dysarthria, it'd be more of a motor problem. There might be some slurring or fatigue in the speech, and that involves more of the muscles that actually control the movement of the mouth. Okay, so now another part of this is I'm going to give you this glass of water. There you go. So we're going to assess swallowing, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is take a sip, hold it for a sec, and then I'll tell you when to swallow. Okay, ready? Now swallow. Okay, good. And as you can see, there's no difficulty there.